Doppler, thank you. A new documentary premieres tomorrow celebrating the Women's Clubhouse 100th anniversary. The documentary is titled The Women's Club of El Paso, a vital force since 1894. Jackson Polk produced the video and Melissa Sargent, a Women's Club member, narrated this 30-minute documentary. It explains how El Paso women brought culture to El Paso when they arrived here by train from all over the world starting in the 1800s. Jackson and Melissa host the El Paso History Radio Show on Saturday mornings on KTSM AM 690, and they are joining us now. Thank you both for being with us. Has this, Thank you. Was this a labor of love for, for both of you? Indeed, it was history. We had to do it. Oh, we're, we're big history of phobics. <laughs> Well, the thing is, the Women's Club of El Paso is an unusual group of people. And if you think they're just like a, a, a teetotaling crowd that group, meets uh -huh. now and then and has fun, these were the women that formed the culture of El Paso originally. And that's why we did this. You've got to know them for who they are culturally. They, they brought in the first kindergarten, the first uh, public library, all kinds hospitals. of things, hospitals. Yeah. So they were first. In, see, what one major quote in here is the women's club says that the men settled the West, but the women culturized it uh -huh. or civilized it. Civilized, civilized, civilized it. it. But, <laughs> but, civilized. Civilized. but the thing is, it was that culture that they brought in that made a difference. And where were these women coming from? They were coming from Europe. They were coming from the East. They were coming from all over. A lot of them were already established here with their families. Uh, it, you know, it was a dusty little town when they got here. But many of the husbands came because they saw opportunities, uh, mm -hmm. financial opportunities opportunities here on the border. I mean, it's, it's the past. There's always been business going on. And with the trains coming, the area was exploding. Uh, doctors, uh, Eugenia Schuster, who was a very proud member, her husband was the one that founded Providence Hospital. Uh, he you came had, in for Osarco. Yeah, he came in for Osarco. That's right. He was the doctor for Osarco, and they came from um, Austria. These people were from all over Eastern Europe, and they've already been through culture. They've already been through school. Mm -hmm. They showed up as a group in El Paso and looked at each other and said, mm -hmm. we're going to fix this. Yeah. And that's what happened. The women basically did that. While the men were out making the headlines and making the businesses occur, uh -huh. the women were making sure the society behind them kept up and was pretty much set because they could now connect with everyone on the railroads. Right. So society wasn't that far away any, anymore. Uh -huh. They could get their hands on it. So the whole idea of a documentary, it's the 100th anniversary of their building, uh -huh. which is unusual. Their building was built the first uh, in, a, in, a, in a Texas. Right, 1916. It was the only women's club of its kind at that time. And so the club itself is about 26 years older than that. Mm -hmm. So all these reasons, let's celebrate them. Why not? Yeah. So what's on the documentary? We have, we have a lot of meetings that they have, uh, they have done. We've also gone into the archives of El Paso and pulled pictures of who these women were, found out what their accomplishments were, like Olga Kohlberg. There are two schools in El Paso County named for her. And it's a good reason. The lady was really sharp. Yeah. So there's a lot of that kind of thing. You wonder, how did this happen? And a lot of things in El Paso that are, deal with culture are traced back to the women's club. Exactly. And it's an important factor. Like you're saying, it's, you've got all these women that actually tell the first person is telling the stories of their own uh, likes of have, being a member of the women's club and how important to them and the history, how important it is. They set the pace along the lines when a lot of women were not doing much more than being a housewife. They stepped out beyond those because they had to in El Paso. You know, it's, it was a remote area. So we get to tell some of that history, especially about Olga and Eugenia Schuster, who are some probably the most well-known people. But you also get to tell you the modern-day members and what's important to them and why they still belong to this club. And how do people become a member of the club? Well, you can contact the clubhouse, and they work on a sponsorship program. If you're interested, they will get you li lined up with another member who could possibly sponsor you. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's exclusive. It's just it's a very important club. It's, it's not your everyday club that just anybody joins. It's people that really want to get involved and really want to do some important things for real. I want to join. <laughs> well, we made him a member. Yeah. My, grand but my grandmother was a member. My yeah. mother was a member. Uh -huh. So I understood it from, from that background. And they are really a good part portion of El Paso history. Tell us about the premiere. The premiere is tomorrow night, 6 mm -hmm. o'clock, at the History Museum in downtown. Come on down. And we're going to have a, a full showing of the half an hour documentary. And they will be there to talk about it if somebody wants to ask us a question or two. Mm -hmm. And I presume they could join tomorrow night. Mary I Rayleigh will be go. there. She's the club president. Mm -hmm. So that whole thing tomorrow night will be 6 o'clock at the History Museum downtown, 510 North Santa Fe. And it's going to be easy to get there. 
have a nice event. And it's a great thing because the Women's Club this year was the Wall of Giants recipient. So they've got their exhibit down there and you can actually see all the history that went on with this club and the things that they were that they've done along if you're seeing what we're doing today. Right. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a great event and I can't wait to see the documentary. Thank you both very much. Thanks. Thanks. Are you going to give me a copy? Yeah. I, I think she needs to join. I think okay. she needs to it's join the Women's Club. It's up to you. Club. I can. If go you for take it. me, I'll join. You got it. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you.